In this week's assignment, you'll also be wanting to lay out some images and some information about these images horizontally. So the big challenge from day one is to take block level elements and make them render horizontally because we know that block level usually wants to render vertically, um, but we cannot use inline because the inline cannot take dimensions. And when we have images uh, that need to be attached to some text, usually you want to put those in a div, and those are block level. So the challenge is we want to put block level laid out horizontally. And there are actually some newer ways to do that. You'll hear about Flexbox and grid layout in future courses. But in this course, you've already learned about using float. Um, and you did that in an earlier assignment where you've actually floated an aside in the body of the document. So you had that float happening in the body tag. In this case, we're going to be floating inside of, of, a, of a div, essentially. And when you float inside of a div, you need to be concerned about clearing the float so that other block level items or other items can appear after it. Um, so what I want to do is share a little bit of code about, about how to do that, using, how to do this horizontal layout using block with clear. All right, so here is a code pen that I've created, and I highly recommend code pen as a way to practice techniques, keep reference code snippets. You can set up an account for free, and I've, I, you can find other people's work out here that's really helpful as well. So, But what I'm trying to demonstrate is how to get some block level elements to line up horizontally, but then also be able to put more block level elements after them. So we've seen this before, where we use uh, an unordered list and list items to create a nav. And we did that using, um, we, we took these block level list items and we made them into inline block. And that allowed them to spread out as if they were rendering horizontally due to being inline. But in this case, I'm going to do it using float. So I've set a float left on the list item. I, and on the wrapper itself, I've set list style type to none to remove the bullet points. Um, and then because they're block elements, I can give them some height and width, some dimension. And then this is the new thing. So this, I have this wrapper after, and this is a pseudo element, this after. And I'm setting the content to nothing because I don't want to have anything rendering there that would get in the way of other layout. I'm making this a block and I am setting clear both. So it's that clear both that is really what makes it possible to put another block element after this floated um, list item set without that block element appearing on the same line. So if you Google clear fix, you'll find that this problem has been addressed in many different ways. and. This is probably just one solution, so you can look into that if you're interested. And again, this is just one way to get items to line up horizontally, block items. And you could picture that inside these list elements, I might put divs with images and text and whatever I wanted to. So I just wanted to give you some way to help with this part of the assignment. And again, there are multiple ways to, to make this happen. All right.